Happy Friday, church. So glad to have been with you this week as we've introduced 1 John chapter 5. We're going to wrap my part up here in verse 5 today. We're going to finish verse 4 and uh, read verse 5, and then Matt's going to finish the chapter for us this week and, and possibly even get us into John's second epistle. But let's pick up in verse 4. For everyone born of God overcomes the world. We talked about that yesterday. This is the victory. In other words, this is what happens that has overcome the world. This is the victory, even our faith. Who is it that overcomes the world? Only the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God. So in verse 1, John says, Everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ is born of God. And then he wraps it up by saying, Who's the one that overcomes the world? Only the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God. So John is making it clear that our faith is not based on anything that we've done. It's not based on anything that we're going to do. That's why, again, God's commands aren't burdensome. They're actually freeing for us because there's nothing for us to do except love God, love others. And the person who believes in Jesus, the Bible tells us, who believes in the Son of God is he who is going to overcome and he who is going to have eternal life. So we're blessed, doubly blessed there. We get to overcome this world in this life, so we get to live God's best life for us now. Now that doesn't mean it's easy. Don't hear me wrong. Uh, it doesn't mean life is easy, but it's fulfilling, and it's and it's just um, it's it's also uh, the reward of just being obedient to God, right? So it's fulfilling and it's blessed. That's what I was trying to say. It's fulfilling and it's blessed. So we get to live the blessing of God and we get to live fulfilled lives, not easy lives, all right? But God loves us enough that He's given us purpose, He's given us value, He sent His Son to die for us so that we would be set free, not to be burdened by the things of this world. And if you're burdened by the things of this world, then you're probably not focusing on the kingdom of God, which is difficult, I get it. It's hard in this crazy world that we live in not to get focused on a presidential election or not to get focused on the bills that are coming due at the end of the month or not to get focused on somebody that's sick or somebody that's just passed and and all these things that are temporal but not everlasting and so we got to focus on the kingdom because the kingdom is forever and the temporal is just right now so sometimes we will have to go through some troubled times but we get blessed while we're here and forever with God Love you, church. Can't wait to see you next week. Pray for Matt. He's got some tough stuff coming in front of him in the rest of this chapter. Love you guys. Bye.